All right. One last story I want to to discuss with you. Have you ever heard of Kathleen Stock? Uh, maybe. I hadn't heard about, uh, about her before, but apparently in, in England, she's a big gender critical feminist or what critics, people who don't like them, call them TERFs, mm-hmm. trans exclusionary radical feminists, though they reject that label. So she is a former professor. She's like a feminist. She's been very critical of, of trans issues and transgender stuff. I looked at her views uh, briefly. I didn't do like a deep dive, but she didn't seem to be a genuinely hateful person. She just seemed to have kind of like a very critical view and a a, a very f- feminist view that completely rejects, um, for example, sharing spaces or any of these things. Honestly, probably a, a significantly less open-minded on it than somebody like me is. But the the real story here is actually one of free speech because Kathleen Stock was supposed to participate in a debate at Oxford. Ox- Oxford hosts like legendary debates. It's it's a one of the most famous universities in the world. They're all about debate and speech, but Oxford students, these woke activists, tried to stop it to the point of literally one of them gluing herself to the floor to try to block it. Watch this. It is genuinely insane. This is demented and childish behavior. Yeah, it really is. I mean, oh my God, where to start? It really should. It, it's a perfect example of what will happen if you, if we keep lying to people who are not feeling great mentally, because there are many people who struggle with their mental health. And if you keep lying to them about what's happening in their community, in their, in, you know, in their country, you're going to push them into doing really stupid things. And in this case, it's just gluing her down to, to the ground. But in other cases, it, it's more serious. And, um, you know, I, I'm thinking of, of Nashville, Tennessee, what happened a couple of months ago. Um, so w- with, with a trans identified person who unalived six people, and that's because she was a person who was clearly struggling with her mental health and she was in the trans community that keeps lying about what's going on. They say trans people are under attack. Trans people are under attack. We're losing our rights. We we, we cannot live anymore because of all these new laws and, and stuff. So if you keep saying that to people who are ready to do literally anything, it gets me really, really worried. I, I'm... Always, a, I'm always in support of debate and free speech. I'm never on the support of the of the side trying to censor or block debate from happening. Um, and I think it shows that people like this this person's name is Riz, um, it, it are afraid that their ideas can't withstand scrutiny, that they don't actually have good arguments to make. But what was I was more disturbed by than just the actions of one uh, demented individual was the reaction of the crowd cheering and celebrating this person like some kind of hero instead of the childish fool that they actually are i mean that's a bad look for the lgbt community but for trans people in particular to have folks like this being representative of of the community because i don't know it's not a good look yeah and she does not represent like trans people at all and I'm I'm just really disappointed about what's happening right now with, with trans activists. I feel like 
in the past, like a couple of years ago, it was just an entire different debate or, or a different space. And we were making fun of people with blue hair and, and septum piercings. But now it, I think it's getting really serious, as I said. So, yeah. And, and yeah, that's, that's the problem. People are applauding it. And what happened in Nashville, um, of course, most rational people called this woman a, a woman and she. But the trans community, they tried to, to condemn what happened. But they couldn't. Because they were saying you can't misgender him because he identified as a trans man. Yes, he unalived six people, including three children, but you got to respect his pronouns. So priorities. <laughs> so that's where we're at right now. And I did not expect that. I, I, I'm, su I'm surprised, honestly. Yeah, I also will just say that uh, the police arrested this person, but then unarrested her with no actual charges. And I'm sorry, that's not going to cut it for me. If you're trying to block people from speaking, you're trying to violate their rights, there have to be actual consequences or they'll just do it again. I mean, this is basic stuff. Yeah. But yeah. So uh, w one final thing is this same university at the U st students at the University of Oxford, there's reporting from the Telegraph here. Uh, Oxford College threatens to expel students who misgender trans peers. Uh, they unveiled a harassment policy with tough measures for anyone caught consistently using incorrect pronouns. Uh, incorrect in the eyes of who, I would ask. So students at the University of Oxford could be expelled for misgendering their peers under a college's new transgender harassment policy. Regents Park College, once called home by the goddaughter of the late Diana, Prince of Wales, has launched a campaign against transphobia with a trans inclusion statement. The new policy says that unlawful discriminatory behavior, including transphobic harassment or bullying, will be regarded extremely seriously and could be grounds for disciplinary action. It lists examples of harassment, and those supposedly include consistently using incorrect titles, pronouns, or names to refer to a trans person, especially where this causes distress. The college's students are also banned from, do, uh, from unduly intrusive or personal questioning, making jokes about trans people or their trans status, and denying or disputing the validity or existence of a trans person's identity. And students who break this policy could face expulsion or dismissal. I, I think that's nuts, and I think that is a gross attack on free speech. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I actually want to say I don't agree with the whole term misgendering. Um, and I thought about this the other day because there's no such thing as my pronouns. Because the point of having pronouns is it's for other people to use about you. So you can't say, well, my pronouns are this. It's like, well, I'm the one talking about you, addressing you, you know, when you're not there or whatever the case might be. So you don't have control over your pronouns, how other people refer to you as. So if you don't have your own pronouns, how can you get misgendered? That doesn't yeah. really make and sense. Who gets to decide what pronouns are correct and incorrect? You know, on the last episode, we discussed somebody, uh, some pr materials that were given to children promoting tree pronouns, <laughs> tree and tree self. So if a student at this college starts identifying as a f tree, other students are allowed to question that. They're required to use that. I mean, this is brain cancer, right? This is supposed to be a place of academic debate and the exchange of ideas. But they're saying these, these ideas are off the table. You can't even question them. And if you do, you could be expelled. Obviously, like literal bullying and targeted harassment is, is always wrong against trans people or against anyone. But simply using words other people don't like is a fundamental part of free speech. And if you if anything that hurts my feelings is not allowed, well, something always hurts somebody's feelings. Why should a trans person's feelings negate other people's right to speak their mind? Well, it's it's because it's not about trans people. This has nothing to do with being trans. It has nothing to do with transsexualism because all real transsexual people know that, you know, th they don't get easily offended they don't think that society has to change just to please them 
like all trans i can say that with confidence all transsexual people don't want society to change fundamentally but these activists do and that's because trans activism and transsexualism have nothing to do with each other not at all um so yeah i couldn't disagree with this more because of that like we 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 live in the same world we are all human beings and everyone um everyone can offend anyone it's impossible to right. tell. <laughs> so and i consider myself an equal i don't know about trans activism uh, activists they see themselves as equal.